Guess who's back after literally a year um, of uploading on YouTube, I think. I don't know how long, but if you haven't seen my face, it's because you haven't seen my face because I haven't uploaded. <laughs> so, today I'm going to come back with a Khloe Kardashian inspired makeup look. I actually saw this on her Instagram the other day by her makeup artist and I was like, this is incredible. And conveniently, I was sent a package by Benefit. And oh my goodness, this is the package. And I'm gonna be basically opening some of these products and showing you guys how to use it. And oh my goodness, like I can't even, I can't even deal. Thank you, Benefit, so much. Yeah, I'm gonna have a separate video to this one for doing my brows. This is gonna be the main video for like the eye makeup and the foundation and everything. So keep watching this video and I'll put a little link in the description for the other video when I put that one up um, for showing you how to do brows. So um, yeah, let's crack to it because yeah, may as well. Okay, we're back. I've just finished my brows and the link is below. So go have a watch of that if you so, because I just filmed my brows, this is like all the products that Benefits basically sent to me and thank you so much, I really appreciate it. I even bought this little backdrop yesterday but I didn't iron it properly and it's like... <laughs> I feel like I look like I'm in school photos because it's like a cute little baby blue backdrop. <laughs> so, let's get into the rest of the face, I mean the eyes. <laughs> Sorry, this is taking so long. So first I'm going to conceal my eyes and I'm using the Pro Longwear Concealer in NC30 and this is just going to go all over my eyelids. You don't need much of this like at all, like that little amount goes so far. I've just taken a little bit of this on my brush and I'm just going to sweep that all over my eyelid. And then I'm going to do that to the other and look, see I still got so much product there. <laughs> Now that's going to cover any redness and veins because my eyes are so veiny. Just grabbing my little nude beauty blender and I'm just going to tap that one into place and just blend it out a little bit. You can even use your fingers if your eyes are really dry. My eyes are kind of dry, I should have wet my beauty blender. But yeah, you can just kind of blend it out with your fingers if you want to. So once that is on, I'm going to be going into my Morphe palette and this is the 350 palette and I am grabbing this colour here, I can't even see what I'm doing, this colour here and this colour down the bottom, I'm just going to be having a little mix of that and I'm going to pop that right on my eyelid. Again, I'm not too sure what type of brush this is because I've had these ones for so long, I just clean them a lot, but yeah, it's just a flat headed brush and I'm just going to pop that on Literally just the eyelid area. I'm not gonna blend it too far up at first. I just wanna have a little bit of color on there. And now we're done. <laughs> oh, my nail just scraped a whole lot of that stuff. Oh, it's all in my nail. Oh my goodness. Now I'm going to go in with my Makeup Geek eyeshadow. I'm going to be using Peach Smoothies. So this is just kind of like a peachy colour. And this is going to be just blended out. And I'm just starting in the crease. And I'm going to be quite harsh with this colour. Like you can be kind of messy with it. I like to take it up to um, the brow just here. I've seen like Kylie Jenner actually kind of does that. Slash Mario. Or her makeup artist does that. He takes it up to there and then he kind of blends it out and smokes it out that area. And of course Chloe does as this is her inspired makeup tutorial. But you can see I'm just blending that out. Blending out the edges, the corner and smoking out that way. I've had these colours for so long and they're still really like really pigmented. They don't have that much fallout. Like they're just so... So this is Frappe, that's always the second colour that I use, but I'm just grabbing it on a nice little blendy brush. 
don't know what the brush is again because I've washed it so many times. And then I'm just going to blend this one out as well. I really want to create that elongated effect. Now I'm going with the Urban Decay Eyeliner Pencil in Roach and I'm just going to put that quite messily just on my lash line. And then with a little brush I'm just going to blend this one out a little bit. Now I'm going to get in with the Stella Magnificent Metals um, the liquid eyeshadows and basically I have the Smoldering Satan. And just with my finger I'm going to push that all around that little area that I've just put those colours on and make it a little bit more glittery. So now that that is done, I'm going to go back over again in that roach liner just on my lash line. I'm going to smoke that out. Now I'm going to go in with my MAC Extended Play Giga Lash. Giga Lash? I don't know. I've been saying it for ages and I still don't know. Okay, so first before I put my lashes on, I'm going to go in with my Silk of Morocco highlighting palette and I'm just going to use the middle colour and I'm going to put that just on my brow bone because I want it to be a little bit more slash a lot more sparkly because I want this look to look quite wet by the end of it. Now I'm going with the most typical lashes that I always wear. It is the Model Rock 212 lashes. And these are just so beautiful, so I like to wear them. And yeah, let's pop these on, make sure the glue is tacky, and I'll be right back. So while the lashes are drying in my hands, I like to go in with a little cotton pad. And I'm using Bioderma, um, it's like a micellar water. And I'm just gonna wipe all underneath my eyes and get all that fall out away and this stuff is really good because I have really sensitive skin and obviously you guys might know if you've watched my videos before I have rosacea and so that really isn't a good time and so anything kind of like sets it off and makes it flare up so I kind of place it over the top of my lashes with my tweezers and position it in the middle of my eye take the outer edge place it down so it's way easier once the lashes are actually quite tacky to put your um, false lashes on and then you kind of just place edge by edge down and it makes it so much easier you go in with your tweezers again and get it around both sides of the lashes and then squeeze the bottom bits together which is really just going to push them into place so you can do it around literally the whole lash. So now that eyes are done, I'm gonna start on the rest of my face. So I've tanned kind of the whole of my body, as you can see, except my face. And this is because I have rosacea, and so whenever I put tan on my face, I get a lot of pimples, I get oily, I get really red on my face, so it doesn't work for me. So I like to just use foundation on my own skin to make it darker. So first of all, of course, make sure you moisturize your skin. So this is from Simple, and it's just the ultra lightweight moisturizer. And I'm going to be putting a lot of this on because I want this look to be so glowy and dewy and kind of wettish. And for that, you need your skin to be really nicely moisturized. Now I'm going to be putting on a couple of different primers. I'm using the Smashbox Hydrating Primer. I'm going to put that all over my face. And then after, I'm going to be going in with my NYX Pore Filling Primer. And I'm just going to put that around these areas so that they're not too shiny. So first, this is the hydrating primer. And make sure after every step of like the primers and moisturizers, you give it just a little bit of time to settle in. And then with the pore filler, I've just put the littlest bit on the back of my hand, just here. My hand is so messy from putting all the colors on. But I'm gonna use that and just put it right on my pores. It's a really nice and silky texture, some pore fillers just go on really um, dry and then it really does dry out the area and it kind of picks up the skin and everything underneath it. 
Cool, so leave that for a little bit and then I'll come back to you in just a second. So now I'm gonna go in with my foundation and this is the NARS Sheer Glow in Medium 4. You can see how dark this one is compared to what my actual skin color is. <laughs> oh, I'm so white. Oh. I'm gonna put quite a bit on because I want this to be like a full coverage makeup even though I know that this stuff goes really far just with the littlest bit. Now I'm gonna take my IT Cosmetics um, Heavenly Luxe brush and I'm just gonna kind of blend that around. But the way I like to blend is I kind of tap it and this kind of just pushes it into the skin really well. And then yeah, you can kind of blend the rest out. And make sure you blend down your neck and on your ears because I always forget to blend around my ears, which is really weird. And because I'm gonna be doing my chest too, I'm just gonna undress the ear. <laughs> This is so weird, but no one's in my house, so it's okay. Okay, I am like fully naked now. This is so weird. Um, I'm gonna blend this down my chest as well because I have, I'm gonna try and move this down to kind of show you. Wow, this is like an X-rated YouTube video. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, so you can't really see, but I do have dots on my chest. So I'm just gonna kind of go over these areas as well and this is really good for if your tan is blotchy as well just kind of use your foundation color to go over those areas now I'm going to be using my Pro Longwear concealer in NC30 the same one that I use in my eyes and you only need the smallest bit of that one again and I'm gonna pop this right underneath my eyes with my finger you can put this right up to the center of your eye as well because I really just want to brighten that whole area. And I'm going to put it down in like a little triangle on my face because I want it to go up in like a yeah, type of way. Yeah, see how that just really brightens that area of the face and this one's just really dull? That's what I want because I have rosacea and my skin's really dry. I've just got the most combination skin ever. Whenever I use any type of beauty blender around this area, it really picks up the skin and it just leaves it in a really gross way. So using my finger, it just kind of, it's just a nice warm thing to blend on the foundation and conceal with. Now I'm gonna pat this on the center of my forehead as well because I wanna brighten up this whole area. I don't want it to be the same color as the rest of my face. Now I've just done some right down the center of my nose, as you can see. And with this one, I'm just going to blend this one out with my beauty blender, as I want it to kind of just stay in the center. Now I am just gonna take my Face of Australia Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm just taking my sponge. I'm gonna pat this just underneath my eyes. And up the sides of my face just a little bit and just on my forehead I'm just using the rest of the excess powder just to set my face the littlest bit now I'm gonna go in with my Hula Benefit powder and I'm just using an angled type of brush and I'm just gonna define my cheeks a little bit corners of my face and just blend the bronzer into those areas a little bit. Now I'm going in with What I Fancy from MAC. This is just a really beautiful blush colour. Now I'm going to be going in and wiping it away underneath what I put under my eyes. I'm just going to be using the NYX No Filter Sands Filter um, in medium olive. I'm just going to pat that around just underneath my eyes. I'm going in with the NYX Dewy Finishing Spray. Now for this step, make sure you cover your hair when you're doing it or else your hair is going to go nice and dewy. And I'm just going to kind of make my face really nice 
and Julie make it melt together. Now we're gonna go in with the Silk of Morocco um, highlighting palette again. And I'm just using the middle color again and putting that just on my cheekbones. And I'm literally just gonna be putting this everywhere around my whole face so that it looks really nice and wet. And I'm going to put this on the um, inner corner of my eyes. Now I'm going to go underneath my eyes on the bottom lashes with Frappe again. And then with the rest of your shadow, you can even kind of like push this shadow out a bit so that it has more of like an elongated look. And now I'm going to go in with Cherry Cola and this is a really nice dark burgundy red purpley type of thing and I'm going to put that closer to the lash line and smoke that up to meet the top one as well. Now she's definitely tight lined her eyes so I'm just going to warm my pencil up on the back of my hand and I'm just going to tight line my eyes. And then if you're game enough, try and do the top of your eyes as well. I'm gonna go in with my um, extended play mascara again, and I'm just going to put that on my bottom lashes as so. Now for my lips, I'm gonna be using my NYX Lip Liner Vanilla Sky, and then I'm gonna be using Hourglass Believe, their lipstick. Now I'm going with another hourglass shade and this is called Child. It's in their extreme sheer lip gloss range. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go and curl my hair now and put on some clothes because I'm still kind of naked and I'll be right back. Okay, so I changed the background behind me because the blue just didn't suit this and I kind of just changed the top that I wanted to wear. But thanks Tash, I'm wearing this top now. And now I'm going to show you how to oil up your body. Um, so to oil up my body, I am basically going to be putting Frank Body Body Balm on. So try me sticker on it because I work at Mecca and I get so much free stuff from them. So don't mind that, I did not steal it. <laughs> so I'm just going to put that all over my hands. Thank you so much for watching guys. It's so good to be back. I can't wait to make more videos. So yeah, please make comments on what type of videos you'd like to see because I, I need to start posting more videos anyways. And yeah, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment if you want to or not. I won't be hurt. Yes, I will. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good day. Bye.